right what's up everybody another day another property tour again if you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time i'm chuck it's chris what with simply vegas your las vegas realtor bringing you another property tour so today we are here in the city of north las vegas now i'm going to say we are on the northeast of the las vegas city Right there again, we have the uh, VA hospital. And I'm gonna walk this way here real quick because I don't feel like hopping the fence, okay? I'm gonna open this up. And the model that we're gonna be taking a look at, look at, it's called, a, uh, let me see, how do you pronounce this? Acelia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe I should learn how to read. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, big dummy. Well, this is a single story uh, community, right? Now, this single story community here is called Palmer's Ranch. It's all single story homes. You have two series, the Heights and also the Estates. Now, as you can see right here, this is the Heights. So this is the one that we're gonna be taking a look at, right? So this one right here is the, the smallest one so we have a total of four different four plans for each series. So there's a total of eight series. So this one right here is a 1,724 square feet, as you can see. And also let me know if I pronounced the, the name correct. Okay. Now this one right here is a three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage with an outdoor living. The base price on here, which is the starting price is 372,000. 900 definitely like this uh, keypad here looks like we do have the uh, concrete stucco we have a 6 8 on the uh, the door here now as you can see the hallway is a little bit wide okay i'm gonna take you straight on back here make one quick loop and i'm gonna break this property down just for you guys and this music is so loud i want to make sure i don't get demonetized so i'm gonna basically over talk the music here. Now I'm gonna come back down this way, down this hallway. Now this is a pretty wide hallway here. It's probably about six feet. So we do have a door. I'm sorry, we have a bedroom. Our first bedroom here is in the front. There's really not too, too much uh, configurations that you can do with this one, okay? So this room right here is probably going to be 12 by 10. I mean, it is a decent size for sure. Now, a lot of you guys do like that modern home look. However, you can take this traditional contemporary floor plan and really turn it into the modern look that you're looking for because this builder, Taylor Morrison, right, was originally owned by William Lyon Homes. And there's so much options at the design studio that you can pick and choose from. So here is the bathroom. I don't know if you're going to be able to do a double sink or not, so that's not an option, which is kind of a bummer. Typically on a three bedroom, you want to have two sinks for the two baths, I mean for the bathroom. Tub shower combo. You got the medicine cabinet here. Typically you do have an option with the builders to add that medicine cabinet or not. Uh, it is free. Uh, let me know in the comments below, would you add a medicine cabinet? For me, I probably would not do it. So it looks like they put the uh, GFI switch here. So typically on the GFI switch here controls all the GFIs for all the bathrooms. That's one thing I want you guys to do is uh, when you're doing your home orientation, when you're doing the final walk with the builder and the builder is explaining to you their product, make sure you know where all the GFIs are and that GFI controls which outlet, which breaker. That is so important. So it looks like on this bedroom, uh, basically, they turned this into a gym. However, uh, it is a little bit small for a gym, okay? This bedroom is 12 by 10, it looks like. Now, I remember back in the early 2000s, the bedrooms were typically 10 by 10, but builders are starting to realize that uh, people want more bigger bedrooms, so they are starting to increase their bedrooms. Now, the door size on here, Right, with the nine foot ceilings here, you have six, eight on the door. However, you can boost these out all the way up to the eight foot doors. Now on this model, did you notice there's no jumper ducts? On this one, they do have the transfer grills instead of the ductwork. So those are things that you probably need to take a look at here. 
you have a doorbell right here above. Now, coming right into the open living room, okay? So this island right here, you have the Petrophenia. This is the two inch on the Petrophenia. Now, you do have the option to extend this and make it a little bit bigger. Now, these are 36 cabinets. On the 36 cabinets, that is standard on the cabinet tree. Okay, you do have some uh, color options that you can pick and choose from. And these are artistic crafts. And basically, this is the uh, company that they use as far as their vendors. The GE Appliances. Now, keep in mind, uh, some of the materials are taking a little bit longer to get in. And there are some builders, what they're doing is the um, appliances that you have ordered, they may install the generic ones first where you're closing the deals and i know that ge is kind of a little bit backed up unless you are more of a bigger uh, builder um you're going to be more of a priority we know that the backsplash is not included as you can see the gfi right here probably controls this whole kitchen area okay now what do we have here here is your laundry room standard laundry room washer and dryer is not included i definitely do love that uh, fluorescent light right here Okay, here we have our garage, okay? Unfortunately, the garage is locked. Now, on the garage, you do have an option to have a side access to the garage to your backyard. Now, in this spec right here, they showed that they have three pendant lighting here, which is nice. Now, you have your dining room. Oh, hold on, let's just take a look at this. I'm jumping the gun, okay? So you have your somewhat of a pantry so this is i don't know if this is called a pantry or not i mean let me know in the comments below now take a look at this this is attention to detail you see these hinges if you get these type of bronze hinges make sure the painters are not painting over it some builders right even though that you upgrade the brush nickel or the bronze they end up painting that whole thing okay that's something that you definitely need to check. Also, another thing I noticed on uh, inspections a lot, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, um, this is not painted. It is highly recommended that it's painted by the Nevada Contractors Board on the top. A lot of uh, painters will miss that. And that seems like on every single home, okay? I do love these windows right here, that's really nice. So you have the nice little dining area. So, I mean, this is a pretty large dining area. Now the flooring here that you see, this is definitely the tile flooring, but now everybody's transitioning into the um, vinyl flooring because um, vinyl, their, their products are starting to be pretty good as far as waterproof and stuff like that. But if you do get the vinyl flooring or the laminate flooring, make sure it's actually glued down. I prefer to have a glue down. Now let me show you this uh, configuration here. So the way that you see this, right? you're gonna get this, the windows here, windows here, and this six foot slide. Now, typically on the slides, you do have an option to do a, uh, what do you call, six foot height or an eight foot height, okay? Or six eight, technically. Now, oops, I just dropped the pin, but I will pick it up, so hold on. I don't want you guys to criticize me. Now, uh, these vinyl slides, they're not that great of a vinyl slide. Here's why. Okay. I've talked about this in the past. I'm not going to do this right now, but uh, maybe I can kind of show you guys what's going on. Okay. Now, typically on these vinyl slides, right, you can rock these to pick, pick this up literally. See this? How this comes up? You can literally take this up and slide it out. Okay. That's why if you do this or you get this type of slide, make sure to get that bar that goes here. Now, Couple configurations here out in the back. We know it's gonna be all, right, just desert. And what do you get back here? Basically from the slide, you're gonna get this little um, curb that's three by three, that's a piece of concrete. So all this right here is not included. However, if you do get the paver stones, do me a favor right away, especially in the front driveway, go ahead and get it sealed right away. That's gonna be very, very important. Now. One of the options that you can do, this cover patio from here to here, okay? That is one option. The second option, you can literally extend it to the end of this window, okay? 
that's your second option, then it would actually be concrete. If you want to do the pavers, that would be an upgrade. Now this is the cheaper way to do it. This is uh, the aluminum cover patio. This is something that I'm doing right now to my house. How much did it actually cost me? This is how you break it down. There's two things that are uh, important with this. Number one is the concrete, right? So when you get the guys to come out there, whoever you use, make sure you find out what type of concrete that they use. Also, are they using rebar too as well? And depending how big that slab is, are they using control joints? That's going to be very important. So typically right now, uh, I'm shopping around and I got a good deal. I'm paying $5 a square foot. But the minimum is that a lot of these concrete guys want you to spend at least $1,000. So I literally did a 13 by 14 cover patio, right? Now, with this cover patio, there's so many manufacturers out here. Uh, make sure you get the lifetime warranty. So I'm doing one, something similar to this, but I don't have these little things sticking out. Mine's more clean, modern. And also I do have a, uh, a rain gutter that they are adding. And you do have the options where you can uh, change the, uh, the color configurations too as well. I did that to match my house. But one thing I also want you to add is the uh tension bar for the ceiling fan now typically i priced this out i found a good a reputable company um, i'm paying 15 dollars a square foot so the total i'm spending uh 20 a square foot a 13 by 14 with an extra slab right i'm actually paying a total of thirty five hundred dollars now i did a lot of research from one company to another i will let you guys know uh, how that turned out i will also do videos i'm thinking also about doing a time lapse too as well but one thing i want you to understand is that because you're required to spend over a thousand dollars with the concrete guy you're gonna have some extra slabs so you might as well take uh, advantage of that so what i did was uh, I had some extra slab that I, I could have poured what i did was i made a section just for the barbecue area okay so hopefully that helps you guys now this is definitely a pretty big backyard i would say right real quick we are uh, about 24 minutes 25 minutes right away from harry reed international so that's the name of our new airport no longer mccarran international they were thinking about calling it the las vegas international airport which i think that would make more sense to me okay now i'm gonna swing around this way here so that way we can get a different view of the home here all right all right let's walk back down this way so it looks like we have a thermostat here it looks like you got one air conditioning unit uh, make sure to check how many zones there are okay coming into the master the master is pretty big you do have a king size bed i mean take a look how large these nightstands are now you do have a tray ceiling and this is a one inch tray ceiling now typically with this tray ceiling right here okay it's not like a true custom. It's kind of like a janky way. I don't want to say it's a janky way, okay? Do you guys even know what janky is? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we have the water closet here and you have your spa-like shower. Now, a couple things uh, with this, you do have an option to do shower tub, okay? Now with the shower tub, that's great. However, if you do this walk-in, a couple things that you need to take a look at, especially when you're using this type of tile. The darker the grout, you wanna make sure, take a look at this line, make sure it's completely straight. Because if you do this after market, okay, be careful guys. There's a lot of tile guys out there that are not floating these tiles correctly or grouting it straight. I mean, you literally, especially with these subway tiles and a dark grout, you got to be very good at what you're doing. And you get the undermounted sink. Cabinets, okay. And here's your walk-in closet. I mean, this is not bad for 1,700 square feet. Attic access right above here. You do have a option to put a door right here. Incentives is about $7,000. I don't know how long uh, that's going to last for. Uh, lot premium is roughly around $10,000 HOA, $72 a month. There are no SIDS and LIDS, okay? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property, if you can see yourself living here. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt.
Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.